everyone, it's Carly. Welcome here back to my channel and welcome into my bathroom. I thought tonight it would be really fun since it's the beginning of the week. Um, it's hopefully a Monday when you guys are seeing this, but it's the beginning of the week and it's just that time of the day where you need to take off your makeup. So if you're watching this at a good time to take off your makeup, get into your bathroom and take off your makeup with me because I think it would be really fun just to kind of share with you um, some of the new products that I have and this is kind of filmed on a whim so I don't have all of the things that I usually use which can sometimes be real life but I still have to do my skincare so I thought I'd bring you in and show you some of my favorite things and I have my nighttime tea here and we're ready to get started. If you guys are new to my channel, my name is Carly. I post videos on here all of the time of my life, beauty, fashion, all of the things that I really enjoy. So hit that subscribe button if you'd like to stick around. And if you enjoy skincare videos, definitely hit that like button as well. And let's get into it. Okay, so one of the first things that I need to do is take off my hoops because, um, I have like my double ears, but my second ones can stay in, but today we were wearing some bigger hoops, so I'm gonna get those out of the way. I also take off my wedding ring, um, just because I feel like I don't wanna get all that gunk in there. I'm gonna also, actually, how did I forget? First, I'm gonna turn on my diffuser. I love having my diffuser in my bathroom. It is such a relaxing experience. If you have a diffuser, that maybe you can spare in another room or put something you want to like change it up put it in your bathroom because i promise it's amazing i have lavender in here right now but sometimes i have eucalyptus um in the morning sometimes i'll do like a citrus something to like wake me up it's just a game changer so i'm gonna put up my hair i'm also gonna put on my little headband i don't really know what these are technically called but I'm obsessed with it. Okay, <laughs> so now we're ready. Oh, I got a little bit of sun <laughs> on my shoulders, which is not great. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take off my makeup. I love to do a double cleanse. Um, I usually use like a cleansing balm. My favorites are from Pharmacy, the Green Clean one. I really love the Versed. But I was silly a couple weeks ago and didn't wanna get um, my like original balm. So I was like, oh, I'll try a micellar water again. And it's kind of been a mistake, but it's not like the worst thing to take your makeup off with. I like it better than a like makeup wipe, um, but it's still like not my favorite thing. But anyway, I'm gonna use it up because it's not that bad, uh, but it's just not my favorite. So I have the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Water, and I'm just gonna take that. I usually have to take about two to three cotton pads because when I wear a full face of makeup, I just feel like it doesn't do a great job of breaking it all up. So I'm just gonna go in and the benefits of a double cleanse is just to kind of go in and like break up your makeup. That way your cleanser just has a better way to like get into your skin and really clean your skin. Cause if you're going right in with a cleanser and you still have all your makeup on, it's just like swirling around with all your makeup. So it's just my favorite to just take off my makeup and I try to be as gentle as I can when removing my makeup, but sometimes you just have to go ham. Okay, so I use the first cotton pad for like my whole face and then I'll go in and take off my eyebrows and my eye makeup. And this is where I feel like the micellar water doesn't do the best job of taking off my eye makeup. I just feel like I prefer the balm so much better. You can be way more gentler with your eyes and I feel like I'm not like tugging as much, but we're trying to be careful. Okay, so that's my eye makeup taken off. I'm gonna go ahead and just rinse my skin really quickly and then we'll go into our cleanser. My skin is still a little bit damp, but usually I do all of this in the shower, so it's a little bit easier. But I'm gonna go in with my second cleanse, which is like my facial cleanser. And this is a new one for me. This is the Botanic Tree Simply Organic Glycolic Acid Exfoliating Cleanser. And most of the time I use just like a chemical exfoliant and not like a physical one, but I read so many great reviews online about this and I don't use this every day. I probably use it like twice a day, but today is the day that I really need to go in and exfoliate. It's Sunday night and um, yeah, it's just a day where I like to do a little bit more, but on the days where I'm not using this, I'll just use a gentler cleanser like the Fresh Soy Face Cleanser. I love that one. So we'll go in with this one. Again, I'm putting like light pressure on my face 
and just cleansing the skin and this one's so nice it has like tea tree and lavender in it and i've just noticed such a difference in my skin i just feel like it polishes it off and of course like this is the week where i'm about to start my period so i've had a nice little breakout but it's okay now i'm going to rinse this off all cleanse so i'm gonna just pat my skin dry and since it is a Sunday night, a couple times a week I'll do a face mask and Sundays are one of the days that I definitely put aside time to do one. So my sister gave me a pack of like all of these little Glam Glow samples and I really loved the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. It is my favorite mask from them. It's a little hard to see, but it's my favorite mask from them. So I'm going to take the next 15, 20 minutes, scroll on social media, watch a YouTube video, run my bath, do whatever I need to do for the next little bit and just let this mask sit. So I love this, especially as I mentioned, it is like right before my period. So I've been getting like breakouts along like my chin and my jaw. And so I have just felt that this really helps get in there and like clear it up. So masks can be a little harsh for me, but if I spread out the days and do it like every couple days, um, they work really well. So Glam Glow is like a huge favorite of mine. And yeah, I am going to let this sit. I'm gonna grab my phone, drink my tea, and I will be back here in a little bit. I'm back. And my face is <laughs> like so tight. But as you can see, it turns like this nice little light gray and that's when you know you need to take it off so come in here we're gonna take it off and feel free my mask is off and i did just want to mention before i forget that all of my products that i'm going to use today will be linked down below so if you want to get some or check it out just uh, hit my description box but next i'm going to tone my face and i have talked about this many many times this is the heritage store rose petal um face toner <laughs> can't speak clearly but Again, I just take it on um, a little cotton pad and take it all over my face. And this is like really hydrating, helps like just bring that pH balance hopefully back to normal. And I just really like it. It is very gentle on my skin and has just been a favorite of mine for such a long time. And this is where I would go into like my retinol serum or like some sort of a treatment but I ran out of that so I don't have any right now and I'm still kind of looking I really want to try the retinol and squalene like little cocktail from the ordinary but does anybody else think that they're never gonna refill their freaking stuff it's been out of stock for so so long and I love the ordinary um and so I was really just waiting for that but I don't think that's gonna happen because I'm breaking out and I feel like I would need a retinol in my life so if you have a good one, please leave it down below because I'm still in the market for one. Um, so instead, what I'm going to do is just jump into another serum that I really love. And speaking of The Ordinary, this is their Hyaluronic Acid um, little serum. And I love Hyaluronic Acid. And this is so incredible. It's like a nice little dupe for the Dr. Barbara Stern, the Hyaluronic Serum from there. I have always wanted to try it, but it's so expensive. So I went online, did some research, and everybody said this was a great dupe, and it is amazing. It is so just hydrating, and especially in the summer when you spend like the day in the sun, like what I did today, like feels good to just like hydrate my skin. And it's just a like amazing serum, and my skin just like sips it up. It's crazy. So put that on. I'm gonna let that sit for like a couple minutes. Um, but what I also like to do is take my facial roller that has been in the fridge and, oh my gosh, just like roll my face out, really press the serum into my skin. And this is my favorite part of the day. Like, I love this. If you guys weren't here, I'd be watching like a YouTube channel or listening to a podcast or talking to my husband. And it's just like relaxing. And I always go over like my eyebrows because I feel like you would be surprised at how much tension you hold there. So I like to give those a little ring out for the day, as well as my jaw. And yeah, I'll just take a couple minutes to roll my face. Okay, that's been uh, sitting in for a little bit. Now I'm gonna moisturize, and I kind of go between two moisturizers. This one here is the Cosrx 
um, Hyaluronic Acid Intensive Cream, and I love this one so much. It's actually oh, nearly gone. So I will do that one day, but I did the Hyaluronic uh, Serum, so I feel like I could skip that one. And this one is from Laneige, and it's their Moisture Cream, their Water, I think it's Water Bank Moisture Cream. And yeah, it's just a nice, um, intensive, hydrating cream and I'll just take a little bit and I'm a fan of hydration. I don't really have dry skin but I just feel like, I don't know, it's always so important to hydrate your skin and moisturize and that's my favorite. So I'll take a little bit more for my neck. Okay, so that's all over my neck and my face and normally I would have a nice little facial spray to finish it off but again, <laughs> I'm out and just haven't picked one up so this is about the time where I will pop on my favorite lip moisturizer and this is the GlossierBomb.com. This is just the original scent and it is my favorite chapstick in the whole wide world. You guys have probably heard me talk about it so many times but it's just like unbeatable. <laughs> I love it so much so I'll just put it all over my lips and then whatever that's left over I put it on my elbows because <laughs> I don't want to waste anything um so yeah like I mentioned I would like finish up with a facial spray if I had one but I do not but that is uh the gist of my nighttime skincare routine so I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I am going to get back to relaxing like I said it's a Sunday night and I'm gonna run a bath. <laughs> I'm going to have a little treat in the bath and it's just gonna be a great relaxing time. So I hope that you guys can take some time for yourself to pamper yourself and just relax after a crazy hectic day because we probably all had one. <laughs> and I hope that you guys enjoyed and come back for the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.